Hey guys and welcome to another Flash Action Script 3 video tutorial on Flash Game Design. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to set up your development environment using a program called Flash Develop. That's going to be, well we're going to be using that program to write all our action script code in and then we're going to link that action script code to our Flash document created with Flash Professional CS5. So while you can use the action script editor that comes with Flash CS5, I reckon using Flash Develop is a bit more intuitive. You actually learn a bit more because you're getting a lot more code hinting so you know what sort of things you should be going after. Whereas the Flash um, Action Script Editor that comes with Flash, it's good, but you need to really do a lot of thinking and try to remember basically all the code words and as well as the uppercase and lowercase parts of each bit. So let's get started today and I'm just going to go over to Firefox and go to flashdevelop.org. So once you're at this page, just go to the release notes and download for the latest version and just go ahead and download Flash Develop. So once you've downloaded it, I've got mine here in an installs folder on my USB drive. I'm just going to run Flash Develop Installer. And I'm going to select the standalone portable version. And I'm going to install this to my apps folder on my USB drive. I'm just going to create a new folder for it called Flash Develop. And I'm just going to point to that folder on my USB. So I'm just going to pause the video for a second while this installs. Okay, so it's just about done installing now. And actually, while that's going ahead, let's just go over to Adobe Flash CS5 and let's get started with creating our Flash file. So I'm going to create a new ActionScript 3 document. And now typically, what people used to do with coding is they used to rename this layer to an actions layer they used to right click and open up the actions window and whoa it's way too big anyway they used to open up this actions window here and they used to put all their coding in here but that left um, all your code on the timeline so you had to go through and figure out which frame it was on and it became really messy after a while so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this class um, box over here. So when you click on the stage in your Flash document, you get this um, text box appear in your Properties section. So we're just going to give a new document class to our project called Main. And I'll talk a bit more about this in a second as soon as Flash Develop finishes installing. So once that's done, just go ahead and save your Flash file. I'm going to save mine under my USB drive into a folder called Tutorial Work. And I'm just going to give a new folder here called YouTube One. So once that's saved, we can go over to Flash Develop, which is just finished installing. So I'm going to untick C online guide to get started and just click finish. So if we go back to my USB drive in Explorer, I should see Flash Develop folder under my app section and I can run Flash Develop now. So once it's installed, you should see a window that looks pretty similar to this. I'm just going to go to Project, New Project, and we're always going to be using an ActionScript 3 Flash IDE project. So the name I'm going to give this project is Tute 1, and I'm going to save this in the same folder where I saved my Flash FLA file, which is on my USB drive under uh, Tutorial Work and Tute 1. Just make sure create directory for project is unticked. 
because if it is ticked, you're going to create a folder within another folder and it's going to break all the linking. So you get a warning that's saying that the directory is not empty. That's fine because we have our flash file already in there. And finally, the flash develop app will ask you to enter your author name. So I'm just going to type in my online name. And so now you should see your project name here, tute one and we've got one file in the project folder called tute1.fla. So in Flash, we set up a document class here called main. So what we're going to do now is set up that action script file in Flash develop. So I'm going to right click. In fact, let me bring this over to the left side. So the right click menu appears in the recording area. I'm going to right click on the project name, go to add and new class. So we're going to give this a class name of main and just press OK. So Flash goes ahead, uh, Flash develops, sorry, goes ahead and creates a sort of like a template class for you. So in ActionScript 3, we always start off with the package name, and you can see the matching brackets that highlight here in the editor. Then the next tab in, we always put the name of our class, and this has to match the file name that we gave it. So it has to be the same case as well. So if you had a capital main, this would show up as capital main here. And finally, the first function inside a class is called a constructor function. So I'm just going to add some code to this as well, uh, some comments, sorry. So this is the constructor function. All code we place inside it. We'll run straight away. So the first thing we need to do as well um, is to actually get our class to extend another object. Now I'll talk more about um, extending classes in a later tutorial, but for the moment we need to ex we need to make sure our class main extends a movie clip. Now what I did there was, and I'll go through it again real quick. Just undo that. So I said public class main extends. And as soon as I type that, I get a blue um, keyword showing up. Then as soon as I hit spacebar, I get code hinting in Flash develop. This is something that the Flash action script editor doesn't give you. And I'm going to select movie clip from here, just by typing in MOV. And I can use the up and down arrows to select what um, class I want to extend. But in this case, movie clip's already selected. And then I'm just going to press enter. And what Flash Develop is going to do is complete the code word for me and import the class that I need. This is really important. Whenever you're working with classes, Flash Develop does a good job of remembering to import the class for you. This is something you'd have to do manually in the Flash Action Script Editor. So let's just make so let's make sure that our class file is talking to our Flash document. So in our main constructor function, I'm just going to run a trace and I'm going to see, I'm going to say, sorry, that flash is loaded. And then just save your action script file. And we can test our movie now by pressing F6 in flash develop. And that's going to run our flash file here. And if everything worked according to plan, we should see flash is loaded in the output window. So let's close that and go back into Flash Develop. So now we've got our action script file talking to our Flash stage. What we can do is uh, let's set up an object on our stage. So I'm just going to create a square. Go with a blue square, um, no stroke. And I'm just going to put that in the middle of the stage here and select my selection tool and turn that with F8 into a movie clip. So I'm going to make sure the registration points in the center and I'm just going to call this MC box. Press OK. 
And lastly, we need to give an instance name to our box so we can talk to it from our action script file. So I'm going to call this MC box again. So we've got an object set up now. I'm just going to go back over to my flash develop file and just above the constructor function here, so this public function main, I'm just going to put an enter in here. And what we need to do is we need to create a reference in this action script file to our object on the stage. And we do that by declaring a public variable. And we're going to give it the same name, the same instance name on our stage that we called our box. So in this case it's MC box. And I'm going to data type that with colon to movie clip. So anytime I type MC box in my code, it's going to show me all the properties and methods I can run with uh, a movie clip type object. So just below flash is loaded. If I type MC box or just MC, you'll see flash developers giving me a hint and saying, do you mean this object? And yes, I do. So press enter. So what we're going to do is to see if this, if our link is working, I'm going to change the X position of our box. And I'm going to set that to, let's say, 300. And then just in my flash file, I'm going to move our box over so it's near the left side of our stage. And you can see here the X coordinate is saying 37. So if our code runs properly, it should end up roughly about here at the 300 mark. So let's leave it there. Go back to Flash Develop and press F6. And straight away it jumps to that spot. So we've got a reference to our object on the stage and we can control some of its properties. So just before I end this tutorial, I just want to go through kind of quickly um, of some of the various properties you can access in a movie clip object. So once again, we can talk to our MC box, press dot, and these are all the methods and properties that are associated with this object. So we can change the, the rotation if you're working with a 2D representation of your object. Uh, we can get things like the alpha, which controls how visible or invisible something is. And Flash Develop gives you code hinting here once again. So it indicates the alpha transparency value of the object specified. And move the mouse. Sorry. So valid values are 0 for fully transparent and 1 for fully opaque. So if I set the alpha of our object to 0 0.2, for example, it's going to be really faint and sort of fade it out. So you can go through and check out some of the other uh, properties. So if I set the rotation here of our object to say 45, it should show up on a tilt when I run the file. So uh, yeah, that's all I really wanted to get through in this tutorial. Uh, it's just underneath the YouTube term, so it should be fine. Um, yeah, hope you got something out of it and stay tuned for the next one.